driven through downtown within the last week or so, you may have seen some big, beautiful buildings all decked out in Christmas lights as a part of Christmas in the Cathedral District, Let There Be Light. Now, joining me with more details about this one-of-a-kind event is Director of Community Development for the Cathedral District and organizer of Let There Be Light, Ms. Linda Crofton. Now, Linda, again, you guys are lighting up downtown. Tell me what the purpose of this. Well, Jimmy, we uh, started last year in the Cathedral District doing a uh, tour of all five churches. We, we brought these diverse churches together. There's five of them. And they've been around since 1850. And there's a lot of historical landmark buildings in the Cathedral District. Uh, Mount Zion, uh, uh, African uh, Methodist Episcopal Church, is St. John's Episcopal Cathedral Church, First United Methodist Church, the Basilica of the Immaculate Conception, and First Presbyterian Church. And these churches couldn't be more different in the way they worship and the way they they function, but but they have learned so much from one another. So we opened up the churches. We had nativity scenes. We had a, a Christmas market. We had bands and choirs, and it was just you know it was like a Hallmark movie. It, you know it was a, it, like amazing. So with COVID coming on board, our our uh, uh, management, our board of directors, just decided that we couldn't do that again. It was too dangerous, and we wanted to be safe. So we committed to lighting up the district. A lot of people drive through Main Street or down Monroe or, or uh, Adams or uh, Church Street or Duval and they see all these lights everywhere in the trees. We have over 150 trees lit. And they think, my gosh, the city's finally lit downtown Jacksonville. No, we've done it. We've done it because we wanted to give it as a gift to our community. We wanted to people to see that there was light at the end of the tunnel after a very dark year that we've all struggled with. And, uh, you know, the thing that has made this so rewarding is that we wouldn't have done it without the situation. So, you know, there's a silver lining in everything, I think, if you look for it. And um, the beauty is that, that the cooperation began with these five churches. Now it's spread out to the whole community. We have over 20, 20 community partners. And then we produced a audio tour with the Jacksonville Symphony in, uh, in producing, uh, Courtney Lewis is the music director and he introduced the tour. And then Mozart is playing, performed by the Jacksonville Symphony as you drive through this tour. And you can go to uh, hashtag be light and just download it. Well, it's not download, it just pops up on your phone. And it's an interactive map and you just point to the different buildings or you can go to locations or you can go listen to the music. And it describes just, you know, 30 or 40 seconds of each building. We have nine buildings that are on this tour and about 10 blocks of lights. So with that, we've created uh, through the Castano Group, the Castano Group, has donated and what they call a media architecture laser show. And it's going to be a phenomenal musical and light show on the front of the Basilica. And it will start Christmas Eve. It's the first time it's ever been done in Jacksonville or the United States for that matter. No one in the United States has ever seen anything like this on one of their churches. So Jacksonville is the first one to do it. Wow. So we want people to know that this is from the community, not just Cathedral District, but it's from our community partners working together to give a gift of light to the city. Yes, yeah, yeah, such a layered impact from such a beautiful event. And again, like you said, I'm sure people are going to be able to see this coming across the bridge from the Matthews Bridge coming into downtown. Again, such a beautiful idea, highlighting such beautiful architecture right here in our beautiful city in downtown. You guys make sure to go to firstcoastliving.net for all of this information. Get out there and check out Let There Be Light.